Hi friends, welcome to Technical RPA. This video we are going to discuss about Python one of the function convert Excel file into other formats. So how the conversion is happening? So what are all the data science packages we are using? and how we can achieve through python pandas so before moving to in depth so i'm going to start about libraries here i'm using import pandas i'm importing pandas library i'm defining as pd just all actually usually how we can import packages in when you type import and you can give so here you can see what are all the packages are available it will come into point so today i'm using google collab to write this is the google collab i'm writing to uh, Python functions and executing through Google Collab so that uh, so that we can easily understand at initial level so when we are moving Python code into the tools so we have we can use Google Collab Anaconda Navigators and um, PyCharm many of the tools are available python tools but most of the basics and initial levels you can use at google collab for coding standards if you want to follow coding standards and uh, in depth of coding you can use pycharm and anaconda navigator like jupyter some other navigators you can use on it so i will explain next video what are all the tools we can use in python to build and execute our functions today i am going to explain how we can write the functions and how the coding standards has to be followed and uh, how the package has to be installed so everything i am running into step by step here i'm using pandas here you can see just i'm defining as pd that's all here you can see so why i'm going to use pandas library here so most of the data science operations we can use pandas to achieve like a suppose i have list dictionary or array so in that case i can easily get the list i can convert into pandas data frame The second thing is suppose I'm having today I'm having some Excel file so I want to convert into other formats like CSV Excel or else JSON or HTML many formats so we can convert into other formats and handling data easily using that other formats so we can use pandas also so pandas has to be really fast and efficient way to manage and explore the data so if you are using pandas library so within a fraction of second it will convert to data frame from data frame to you can use other formats and if you want to handling missing data or cleanup or 
merging and joining data sets you can use pandas library so pandas is uh, easily available you can use it uh, this library and you can invoke into the python code and uh, you can build your function here you can see we have here i am taking line number nine excel file path this is my excel file path here you can see this is my excel test dot xlss so just i am opening and download and show you so how my excel format is there So just a simple Excel, I'm using two columns, test and test, and values as one and two, that's all. So here, in Google Color, if you want to upload your files, you can use this upload button. And you can upload your excel file so this is the way i uploaded my excel file but if you are using other like other coding tools like anaconda or pycharm there is no need to upload the google automatically take as a google drive if you want to go and use collab you can write collab google collab in google search window so it will automatically go and add your take your google account which means gmail account you can open uh, this environment uh, uh, toolkit so for simply i will go to that google i will show you how to go there google collab you can see right collab.research.co if you click there you can directly here you can see this is my notebook if you want to open your notebook if you already write it this is my format changer my note no, one of the python file if not if you want to open new notebook you can open as a new notebook and you can write your code here so it is a very easy way here you can see import pandas as p so this is very easy way if you want to change the title you can change as test like that so okay now i'm moving again to code so first thing in python code first thing you have to export your library that is your primary focus so what are the libraries you are going to use to you have to decide and think through that based on the library your coding standards and coding styles and coding guidelines will be changed so usually um, the first coding standard is you cannot have a hard coded value so here you are using excel file path uh, this is my excel file path here you can see i will copy path and paste it here for your reference so it is inside content sample data test.xlss this is my file path in drive so after converting so if you want other files as well that other files will create into drive as well you can directly use and access in google drive these files already to be saved in google drive so this is my excel file so i want to convert this excel file into 
csv file so this is my target so how i'm making on it here i'm using so here in my pandas library i'm declaring as a pd so i'm using pd dot pd function is automatically having read excel so here you can see read excel yes automatic so this is my uh pandas function read excel so inside that i'm using my excel file path and as well as sheet name sheet name i'm using as a sheet one so here i so i will show you my sheet is C. sheet one so that i'm giving as a sheet as a sheet one and next step is i'm creating my function def format csv so this is my function name so i'm giving excel file path as one input and csv file path is my output so i am giving csv file path here this is my output here you can see my output so that it will create google collab as well it will automatically if you give control s it will automatically save if you want to run this is the run cell command is available you can execute and you can run the command so here you can see this is a read excel file pd by uh, pandas dot read excel excel file path and sheet name is my sheet one and uh, the pandas has directly have a function as two csv so i'm giving csv file path i'm giving index as none and header equal to true so this is all these three lines my function i simply have a read excel file I, and once it's readed i have converted into csv just it's like a uh, pandas invoking function just i'm invoking on it this is format csv this is a function i'm calling once i written these three lines i'm calling this function with input file path as a excel and output file as a csv so now i am running on it you can i'm executing so just so i am having done a refresh every time if you have a file you have to refresh on it and i am having test.csv here you can see my csv file is opened usually how you can identify excel and csv uh, in excel you can see sheet 1 is a sheet name but here csv will automatically take the file name into the sheet name so it's already converted into csv so now what i'm doing is just i'm deleting i'm deleting html i'm deleting json so this my second function is converting that format from excel to json so here also same but pandas has default library to json so i'm giving json file path so i'm giving excel file path and json file path 
also my third one is I am converting Excel into HTML the same way but the function name is in um, Python invoking function is two underscore HTML this is my function name which means pandas function name so I am calling this function through format underscore HTML input file path and X output file path so I am running on it to see JSON and HTML formats so I am just refreshing I will show you the JSON Okay, or else you can see one more way if you click test.json here you can see it's created we got to write test and test uh, test both are test so here it's taking test test.1 and 0 1 and 0 2 it's creating as a json format so I will open HTML format here you can see it's creating table t gates and t body whatever you want as a data frame and finally it converted your header as test and another one header as test.1 and what is the values line number 11 line number 12 Here. just I'm giving here here you can see I'm um, test at HTML it's automatically created your uh, CSV into HTML as a uh, T gauge and uh, header and as well as body data as a data frame So this is the way we can convert uh, Python files into other other formats using Fondas. So here I'm using Google Colab. So the same function if used with other tools and as well as other libraries as well you can achieve. So next video I will I will explain you so what are the li important libraries are available and how to use it and uh, different type of python tools thank you guys thanks thanks for watching